What is going on, everybody? My name is Jacob Forster, and we're here. <laughs> we're playing Garden Garden of Banban Two. I paid five dollars for this. I Let's see how this is. <laughs> As you can see in the bottom right corner, they've already announced the third game. It makes no sense. <laughs> For a parent looking for their missing child, time is a delicate matter. Click on the clock. Yeah, they had this in the first game, and this mechanic never came back ever again. I don't know what this is about. I have very low expectations for this game. I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, so this is where we left off the first game. Be because for some reason, the first game was a demo, in essence. Um, thank you. Hold shift to sprint. Got it. I got it. You don't have to tell me twice. I got my little beeper button. Looks like it's broken. And, uh, th th this guy... This guy just kind of popped out. At the end of the first game. Um... I hope this is longer than 20 minutes or less. Th the first game was free and was like 20 minutes. That just came out like a month ago. But anyway, I'm not going to be too cynical going into this. I mean, I am a little bit. Okay. I don't have the, I don't have the goods. I don't have the stuff, but it's right here apparently. This is it. The things we've done have finally come back to bite us. Everyone's gone and the whispers from the abyss just keep getting louder. I think I even saw a face or two looking up at me. We were told everything that gets thrown into the abyss dies, but it appears we were tricked. If you're reading this, take my advice and leave. Everything here should be forgotten and erased from history. Oh my goodness. All right. Use the thingy. Oh, look at that. The texture doesn't move. It's just the lights. The lights, <laughs> the lights move, but the texture doesn't move. Testing sector. Medical sector and too dark to see sector. Can I? Yeah! <laughs> Darn, I was really hoping I could make that jump. I. I. <laughs> All right, well, let's, uh, oh, yes, please be reincarnated. Thank you very much. Please? Ah, yes, okay, good, 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 good. I guess we'll look at this again. Grab this one, press the button, wait for it to do its whole dealio. I guess I move with it, that's nice. Give me lights. All right, testing sector, let's go. Let's see what this is all about. Can I actually get inside? Um, what do I do? Do I need to press this button? Did, did, what? What did, what, what did that do? Huh? I'm very confused. Um. We just started the game. And I already have no clue what I'm supposed to do. My little, um. <laughs> my little drone uh, isn't a thing, apparently. What am I. Am I doing something? Did, did I break the game already? Or is there something obvious I'm supposed to be interacting with at the moment? That's a different color than those lights. Am I just supposed to jump on the, 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 the colored thingies? <laughs> what do I... <laughs> what do I do? I'm sorry, what am I supposed to do? The outer sector. Oh. Oh, that's dumb. Okay, I did kind of see that before. 
Okay, this makes a bit more sense. Oh, it's coming together. So what is this button supposed to do? Is that just supposed to reset it or something if you're not there? All right, comm sector. The spider is real. There is an elevator to success, but the stairs are good exercise. What is this handwriting? This is, the, the spider is real and it's coming. Oh, oh my. Oh my. Hope I don't run into the spider. So that turns on that. Did, did they put, did they put that over there to activate that just so you can turn around and read that? I'm so sorry. <laughs> This is gonna be the most. <laughs> this is gonna be the most salty Jacob video you've ever seen. I didn't want to play this game, but I'm here playing it. <laughs> I ha I have to hey, play. Hey, you there? I I can see you on the cameras. Yes, you can. I'm so happy to see you, and I, I need your help with something. Wait, you need help can with? you even hear me? Hello. Yes. Listen, if you can hear what I'm saying, wave at any camera. No. Not gonna do it. I want to know what's going on here. I have no tapes to play. Okay. Okay. We did it. We did it. Oh, thank God. I'm so glad you're here. I thought this was the end. I was looking around and walked into the security room. Then the door closed behind me and I've been stuck inside since. It needs a light blue key card to open, but I don't have it. He doesn't have it. I know why you're here and I can help you, but you've got to get me out of here. If I recall correctly, uh, only maintenance workers held the light blue key card. So Got you're it. gonna have to go down to the maintenance room and look there. Got it. The door there is probably locked as well, and I can't open it from here, but I do have control over the break room door. Here I well, open good it for are you? you. See if you can find anything useful in there. Okay, thanks. Case update report. Case number six, genomes, human and givanium. Case type two, update two, alias, the devil. Summary, communication with case six has provided invaluable information that may explain why previous cases have sorely failed, as well as improve the creation of future cases. Despite seeming, despite being seemingly incredibly intelligent, it does not appear to recognize itself as a non-human. When addressed as a non-human, K6 reacts with confusion. Reflections also have no effect, as K6 appears to see itself as the human genome donor. A meeting between K6 and the human genome donor has not yet been conducted. K6 describes a constant, immense pain that is present in the entirety of its body. Despite the human genome donor of K6 being a doctor, the case has failed to give a description more detailed than the pain having to do with the blood flow. K6 has no blood in their systems, only givanium. Case is not ready for presentation. Okay. What is this, SCP? Wrong. 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 So this is the door that she opened? So what do we have here? Random stuff? A nice birthday cake? <laughs> like a $5,000 espresso machine? Oh, excuse me, chairs. Cup. Oh, it's a new antenna. Oh, okay, I see. An old friend is waiting in the lo lobby. I can't hit the emergency alarm, unfortunately. What do you mean an old friend? What do you mean an old friend? <laughs> yes, I know. I know how to. I know how to do this. Look at all these. Look at all these little guys. All right, fine. Okay, yes, 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 yes. You don't have to tell me 50 times. We just played this game. It's not like your game came out five years ago. And this is the the update. Yes? Oh, the good old drones. I lost mine a couple of weeks ago. Maintenance workers used them for all sorts of things. Am I supposed to hit like these? Like reaching my places and, and grabbing things that fell into the abyss and sometimes even comfort. It's good that you have one. It might be useful in our little conundrum. Take a look around and see if you can figure out how to get into the maintenance room. I'm not sure if it can be of much help, but uh, wave at the cameras if you need my insight. Is this just a brute force puzzle? Is this a brute force puzzle? Meet the family. I'm not going to meet the family. I've already seen them. Tell me, say it ain't so, say it ain't so. 
that I'm gonna have to brute force this. Oh my gosh, of course. Let me guess, it's the complete opposite side. They would do that, right? All right, I'm not ready for this. Okay, so it's, it's pink, red, not that one. I, I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm assuming that this is a some sort of a strange puzzle. Nope. Hippity. Schmoppity. Not these. Nope. Okay. One. Two. Buckle my shoe. Three, four. Open the door. All right. Is it this one? Is it really this one now? You're gonna do the closest one to it? Now is it the furthest from it? Oh my gosh, I hate this. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure, I, I sure hope. I sure hope there's some indication to where you're supposed to go with this. But right now this is uh, not my favorite thing. All right, we got that one. And then we got this one. And then we do this one. And then it's this one. No? What? Excuse me? Pink? Red? Blue? What? Wait. I'm sorry. What happened? What? Wait, what? So it's neither of these? Did I try this one? Don't tell me it's this one. Oh. One, two, there's three left. What do you think it is, this one? Oh no! Okay, it's fine, 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 it's fine. I swear, if I get a cosmetic for this, if I get some, some dumb cosmetic for this, I'm gonna scream. Wait, what was the order? Oh crap. Crap, I already forgot what it was. That one, that one, that one, that one, and then it was this one? Yes, and then I tried that and it didn't work, so let's try. You, oh please, please give me the right order. What did I do? Did I get into maintenance? <laughs> no, I unlocked a key card. So you had, you actually had to do that? You actually had to do that? Sweet. Now you can go down to the maintenance room. Remember, you're looking for a light blue key card. Good luck and thank you. A light blue key card, okay. Wait, was that really just a brute force puzzle? That you just had to, that you just had to get through? Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Meet the family. All right, we got this little guy. Slow Celine, Jumbo Josh, Bon Bellina, Bon Bon, Opilla Bird, Captain Fiddles, Stinger Flynn, and Sheriff Toadster. Toad, Toadster. It's like a Toadster shrew. <laughs> Nab Nab says, it's okay to have no friends and be miserable like me. His name is Nab Nab. Sheriff Toadster says, treat others how you would like to be treated, with respect. Slow Celine says, I may be slow, but I am quick to help anyone in need. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Reminder to all workers. One, work in groups, no smaller than two. Carry flashlights at all times. Flashlights are in the equipment room. If in, if in direct confrontation with the spider, cause as much noise as possible until help arrives. Spider? We got a spider? 
somewhere around here? Those chairs? Are those supposed to be spider? So don't fall the arrows? I don't have a flashlight, unfortunately. What is wrong with this whole warehouse room? This is not an efficient warehouse. If we truly were building a good environment, a good warehouse, I used to be an operations manager, I worked in a warehouse, uh, you need to have clear shelving. Pink is left, blue is right. Or I guess pink is opposite and blue is correct, right? What, what does that mean for me? Remember to protect yourself. Hard hat, high vis vest. And there's a tape and a little mini projector that I can't interact with or use. We got some weird forklifts. Yes, yellow glass is breakable material. It's not letting me use it. There we go. Okay, so he doesn't want to go there. What if I go behind it? Blah, blah, blah. Break it, yeah. Uh, what did it do though? Good job. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. There we go. I like its party hat. That's cool, I guess. You did it. Yay. The door's open. Yay. Boo. Oh, he sure did scare me. He sure did scare me. <gasps> Look at that key card. Yay. All right. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was I supposed to do in that situation? Not look up? Run for it? He's the spider? That's what you're supposed to be? You're supposed to be a spider? Is he just sitting there waiting for me? G E A Sports. It's in the game. All right, come on. Get on with it. Let's grab this key card. Uh, wait, 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 just, just sprint the whole way. <clears throat> Is this all I'm supposed to do? Who designed this? Why are the arrows always wrong? Is it to confuse the spider? We don't know. Nobody knows. Where is he? What? Why did my camera shake like that? I'm so confused. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We're back. Guess what, little friend, cameraman? I've got your... That's not the camera. I got your... It looked like a black and white key card? Or was that the blue one? I guess it was blue. <laughs> There's something in my eye. Do you see that? Do I have floaters in my eye? <laughs> a note. If you read this fast enough, you might escape. 
I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what just happened? Three birds with one stone. I get all of your key cards. I get the perfect specimen. And I don't have to deal with the thing down there. And it's all thanks to you. <laughs> oh, come on. I didn't eat you that hard. Or maybe I, I did. His Either voice way, is bon bon? You take a nap while I prepare for our little surgery. What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? If you're trying to kill us, why did you give us, or, or sorry, <laughs> perform surgery? If you wanted to perform surgery on us, why did you give us our drone? And why your key cards have been taken away? I, yeah, I know, I realize this. Oh, it's dark in there. Very dark. Oh, well, no. Uh, Case update report, case six. Procedure on case six has been successful. Case six is stable and performs tasks that are necessary for organic beings, such as eating and drinking. As predicted, despite the lack of any biological necessity to do so. As previously observed, are we case six? As previously observed on other cases with humans as the primary genome, case six recalls many memories and events belonging to the original gen uh, genome donor as their own, excluding names of people, as well as keeping an identical level of intelligence. It, case six is also capable of speech as fluently as the original genome donor. Unlike the previous cases with humans as the primary genome, case six is interestingly docile and cooperative, albeit, albeit very confused about the circumstances. Most previous cases ex displayed extremely hostile and nervous behavior towards staff and children alike, a behavior that has been attributed to the new genetical modifications that we were applied. Case is not ready for presentation. Bonbons, kindergarten. Why is it a kindergarten? Why is this a kindergarten? Has anyone explained why this is a Explain why this is a kindergarten? Please. Please just go. No, don't hit the wall. Please. Please. This game hates me. Okay. All right. We're just going in here, I guess. Bye bye. Did we die? Is that death? N. Why? Why is the coin spinning on the table? Oh boy. And why does my vision get so weird when I look at the X? Do you see this? Like, look how glitchy that looks. The game is definitely glitching out on me when I'm looking at this X. Am I? Oh, there's a button. There's a button right here. I see. I understand. I understand. Get on over here, little. Just ran into the wall. <laughs> Just ran into the wall. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. I believe in you, little. Please. Please, this is the worst helper I've ever seen in a game. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Why is my vision so weird, though? Look at all these lines. What is, what is happening? <laughs> what is wrong with this game? <laughs> Come on. Come on, little drone, just go! Yes, that's one hit. Let me guess I go here now. Oh, it ran into the wall again! <laughs> I understand what the game's trying to have me do, but this is this is just ridiculous. This is this is a ridiculous mechanic. If it's a drone and you can have it point anywhere, you can just have it run into the glass or just grab it and throw it at the glass. Thank you. Ah. 
Do you... <laughs> What's happening? What is happening? Oh, I got a yellow key card. Is that sn snail goop? Does this button work now? Is this a. Can I go through? No, no, no. I... What, what did that do? Forever. I've seen one of these before. This is how the f first game ended. Imagine if they just end the game right here. After no nothing. After nothing. Let's find out. Let's find out. <clears throat> Like the the blood, the blood rust, the blood lust, of the blood rust. Maybe it's just blood paint, red paint spilled all over the place. What is this? Ah, oh, I love M birds. It's my favorite thing. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. I'll do the sound effects for Garten Garten of Bon Bon Three. Do not cross, it will trick you. It, is that an eyeball? Hey, yo. I'm... <laughs> Why is there a cannon here? Why is he so veiny? <laughs> it's got some girthy arms. <laughs> okay. Um. Hello, I see someone's tootsie. Elephant, fish, baby, child. Oh. Your whole eyeball's missing. Okay. Sure. Sure. Can I sleep? I'd like to go to sleep, please. <coughs> yeah, you okay? You okay? I think he's okay. I think he's okay. I need a pink key card? According to that. <laughs> Distract before extraction! didn't even spawn in the same room! You can see a shadow in the wrong area! What is happening? I got a syringe. Lovely. Can I... Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, okay. Ah. Oh. Uh oh, it's telling me which ones to grab it from. <clears throat> I understand. I understand, somewhat, at least. To distract the one that uh, I can't cross, apparently. Yay. Okay. Nice, nice. Got him, got him. Get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're extracting, all right. We're doing that extraction. Oh, yeah. Can I put you in there? No? <laughs> Can I use the cannon in any capacity? In any way? Do not cross it. We'll trick you. What? 
It killed me? Do I have to go extract every single one? Gee! Gee! <laughs> gosh. Oh, gosh. Please. Please reincarnate. Actually, no. I don't ever want to be reincarnated back into this game. Ugh. All right, all right, all right. Go, go get him. Go get him. Actually, no, I need to grab the needle, don't I? Why he's so big, though? Big booty beast. All right. I'm not wasting my time having to click through all these. Just go and do it now. Did that not work? Works now. All right, syringe, grabbed. This guy, mm, soaked. I'm assuming I just need to, you know, Oh, now he's here. Okay, okay. Come on in, please. Please, please and thank you. Don't hit the door! This couldn't go any worse. <laughs> Watch, it's gonna say, no, can't, can't go there. I can go there? No. No. Break it. It's inside the glass. Why is this not working? Please. All right, I'm done. I'm done. Wah, wah, wah. Get some more goop. Just to make sure I don't have a pink. No, I do not. Purple guy. Orange guy. Wait, what did you drop? Oh, it's his eyeball! His eyeball fell out of his head. This poor little guy. Wait, are the colors different now? Why are the colors different suddenly? Okay, so what am I supposed to do? Like, what am I actually supposed to do? Hit him in the eyeball? No! Are you kidding me? Hey! Hey! Do I really have to do all of that over again? Stay there. Just, just stay there. I'm not, I'm not gonna grab any of their juices. I'm gonna wait until I can figure out what I'm actually supposed to do here first. Hello. Get him, drone, get him. So when I went over here, I died. Times are insane. We're not even gonna go grab the thing. I'm just gonna start here. Come on, come on, I'm coming for your eyeball. Come on, go, go get him. Go get him, drone. What is the point? It's not how fast you go. It's not when he moves it to his eyeball. And because he just immediately, immediately, just goes. Uh, <laughs> There's no discerning. I'll have the drone try something else. Am I supposed to use the cannon? 
the giant cannon that's over here? Go, drone, go! Go, drone, go! <laughs> what do I even do? Obviously, I have to use the cannon. But how? No, don't come over here. Why did it want me to go over there? This thing has such a limited distance. <sighs> Sorry, I hurt your eyeball. It's better now? Y'all better? You feeling better? Well, too bad, we hit your eyeball again. Like, I can touch his arm here. Do not cross, it will trick you. <laughs> I have, I have a singular theory. I have a singular theory. It's just something I tried doing earlier. But it didn't really do anything. I thought maybe I was supposed to, like, just grab it off of his arm. But that didn't work, you know? I'm doing my best here. Blah, blah, blah. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's all you're supposed to do? Well, what... Oh. What about the other door, huh? There's a whole other door. Come here, eyeballless freak. What about this door? I can't do anything with that door. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, let's grab that and uh, let's put it all in the tank. Oh, you're just supposed to fill it? That's not clear. That's it? <laughs> Let me guess. And now I put it, this in the cannon. Am I gonna explode his eyeball? <laughs> 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 oh, that was good. That was great. That was that was really great, actually. It was worth it all. All of it was worth it for that moment. A hat. I got a hat. Lovely. Is that a hat for my drone? I think. I think that's what it's for. Scree! Ah, the pink key card. Exactly what I was looking for. Lovely. Hello. Well, I, I got. I gotta say this: the game has already surpassed the time it took to beat the first game. Hello. Oh, we're on this side now. Very interesting. Oh, would you look? Oh god, that kind of scared me. <laughs> kind of freaked me out a little bit. <laughs> Is that the thing coming from the abyss? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over the testing sector. Oh boy, workbench! <laughs> Let's put on the propeller hat. Yeah, yeah. Look at that, look at that little guy go. Uh, I don't have the key card for this one, apparently. Apparently I don't got it. It's fine, it's fine, it's totally fine. We continue forward. Get over here. Get over here. Blip, blip. Blip, blip, blip. Oh, there's two of them. Blip, blip, blip. 
Don't hit the pillar. Oh my gosh. Uh, just just recenter. It's it's faster to recenter it. <laughs> then I have to have it hit the wall. <laughs> yes, there you go. And then we hit that button. He's learning. He's learning. Don't worry. Did you miss? Here we go. Hit that one. That was not on, apparently. Now it's on. We can go smack it. Blim, blim, blim. Ah, uh, okay, so that's on now. Case update after the recent genetic mo- Oh, oh, it's a different genome. Case number 10. Phenicopterus roseus and Gavanium the bird. After the recent genetic modifications that were applied to case 10, significant behavioral changes have been observed. Aggression towards certain demographics demographics have been completely replaced with protective and motherly behavior. Said demographics include individuals of small stature, high pitched voices, and those with childlike attributes. Individuals that do not fall into the said cat uh, demographics are still met with extreme aggression and can be lethal due to the case's large size and possession of a very sharp beak. Oddly said demographics are almost exclusively human with the exception of case 10A, 10B, 10C, 10D, 10E, and 10F. All organic organisms, birds included, both the adult and young, are met with the same level of aggression as humans who do not possess children-related attributes. Case is not ready for presentation. You're welcome. Blim blim. Blim blim. So what it, why is this, why is this here? Why is this a thing? It's very funky, I like the colors. It's a nice color scheme. Orange? I guess that's orange. Blah, blah, blah. Go, little copter, go! How to survive a giant snail attack. Stop! Go. Okay. Fair enough. Blah, blah, blah. So when they're together, you stop. And when they're apart, you move. It's red or light. <laughs> red light, green light. I feel, I feel like the addition of this drone, like this could have just been a simple button, but the addition of this drone just causes the game to be like 20 minutes longer. <laughs> it's the old pillow bird <laughs> from the first game. G, we got a G everybody. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, was I not supposed to go in there? Someone was talking the second I got killed. Oh, do I have to hit these again? Oh my gosh. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, What do, you, what do you want me to do right here, game? Quick, in here! <laughs> she just clipped through the door! <laughs> Why did I look behind me? Why did I look behind me? C! C is for children for who this game was made. <sighs> you need to be reincarnated. Okay. I mean, I'm a child. I love I love goofy goofy games, but this one is just this is just such such I don't know. It's it's just really difficult to express the the Okay, no hate to the developer. Please don't don't do anything in that regard. Because I've seen them getting some uh, really unfortunate stuff on uh, Twitter, on tweets, and like people are trying to DM to like screw them over. I think they've been like threatening these developers too, which is really not great. Hi. 
But this game shouldn't be in this state. What is that? What am I looking at? Okay, I can fall out there. I'm not gonna do Everyone, that. I want you all to welcome our newest student. We are late to class. Class clown. I'll let it slide this time since it's your first Unicorn. day, but be late again and I'll rip you to pieces. You're new and unpopular student, so you will have to sit with the unpopular table in the middle. Now sit so we can begin. Pain giver? The alphabet. D is for drinking. E is for eating. F is for playing. No! I'm reading! Multiplication. Where do you think you're going? Why are you chasing me? What is this? What is this? R is for a rut row. <laughs> Where am I, please? So we can begin. You want me to sit at the middle table? Chair. I can still okay, read. Class, so Ban bone, ban boo. Is math. Ban beneath. Over the course of the semester, you will learn how to annihilate others, how to safely extract the human brain for eating, and... Oh, wait, I made a mistake. I think that's lesson four of the day <laughs> for math. Over the course of the semester, you will learn to add, subtract, divide, multiply, and so much more. Okay. I am so excited. Yeah, Before me too. Before we start, let's revise some of the basics. Sure. What is 6874123612 plus 9819399912? And remember, wrong answers will be very harshly punished. <laughs> Use the tape players to answer? What? What? What do you mean use the tape? Like Where do you think you're going? What are you talking about? I didn't, my hand wasn't on the keyboard. <laughs> now sit, so we can begin. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, Kindness. class, so the first lesson Try. of the day is Try. math. Send us, send us to Over the course of the semester, you will learn how to annihilate others, how to safely extract the human brain for eating, and... Oh, wait, I made a mistake. I think that's lesson four of the day <laughs> for math. Over the course of the semester, you will learn to add, subtract, divide, multiply, and so much more. I am so excited. Before we start, let's revise some of the basics. I don't what want to revise them. Seven four one two three six one two plus nine eight one nine three nine nine one two. And remember, wrong answers will be very harshly punished. <laughs> Obviously, the really smart kid. Five six zero six three five two four. Correct. We'll know the answer. You kids are really paying attention today. Yes, we are. Next question, and one that I wrote myself. Sure. What do we got? That is two plus two. Correct. Smart kid. Wow! I thought everyone would get it wrong. All right. Last question before your lunch break. What is misery plus disappointment? Frog. Wrong! <laughs> what is misery plus disappointment? <laughs> Garten of Von Von 2 is the answer. <laughs> okay, class, so the first lesson of the day is math. Over the course of the semester, you will learn how to and I What do I do? Others, how to safely extract the human brain for eating and Just sit back, relax. Oh, wait. 
I made a mistake. Just, just chill back here. It's nothing really to do. You like my hats? I got I got all my hats up here. I need to update my subs thing. It's just it's like little plastic things that you pop out, put back in. It takes so long. It takes so long. Yeah, even though it takes just like a second. But uh, I need to update that. We're at least 88k. That's really cool. Oh, don't worry. I got the answer for you right here from the really smart kid. You're welcome. Ah, oh, thank you. You kids are really paying attention today. Sure am. Sure am. Next question, and one that I wrote myself. Yeah. What is two plus two? Really smart kid doesn't need an answer. Just the smart kid. Wow. And of course, it's the dramatic kid for the next Last question. question before your lunch break. What is misery plus disappointment? My life. Correct. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for math for the day. Go to your lunch break, and then we'll start the next lesson when you come back. What? I'm so confused. We're the cool kids, and we chew gum. Get us gum for money. You treat gum for money with the popular kids. I said, like that dollar, please. What is that? What? You want to save this twerp? Give us your lunch money. Please save our friend. He's getting bullied over there. What is this? Is this a mini game? I'm a cool kid now? Oh, I have to do this again? Attention everyone, this announcement concludes your lunch break. Please return to your classes. Also, teachers, please keep in mind that we're on the lookout for a very, very naughty student, believed to be accompanied by a drone. If you catch them, call Principal Ban Ban's office immediately. Ban Ban! It's not Bon Bon, it's Ban Ban! Thank you. Hey, you didn't see the person they're talking about, did you? No. Oh, what am I saying? You're one of the cool kids. Of course you don't talk to ugly, unpopular kids like that. Take a seat with the cool kids where you belong. Yo, she got Popeye forms. <laughs> she jacked. Right, kids, the next lesson is science. All right. Like we did for math, and since this is the first science lesson of the semester, it Naughty will corner, I get it. be a review lesson. But first, let me introduce you to our classroom rules. No eating, no talking, no breathing, no moving, no asking questions, and no washroom breaks. Remember, I will have to punish you very, very harshly if you break any of those rules. <coughs> Back to the review. All right. Let's start with something easy. No breathing? So Everybody hold their breath. <gasps> Class clown. So funny. Wrong. <laughs> I breathed. It's because I breathed. Please tell me I don't have to do. I. Please. 
Please tell me I don't have to do all of that over again. Please tell me I don't have to do everything over again from the earlier part. I'm gonna be so upset. I'm gonna be so upset. Thank you, thank you. Okay, popular, okay, me, loud, and then class con. Like we did for math, and since this is the first science lesson of the semester, I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty but confident. Let me introduce you to our that this rules. whole thing no is padding. No talking, no breathing, no moving, so that no whoever no buying this game on Steam I and playing it has to sit through enough of this so that you play the game long enough so that you can't refund it. Let's start with something easy. How hot is the sun? I don't know though. Nothing's as hot as me. I, I really don't know. <laughs> yes. I allow it, but only because it made me laugh and because you're a cool kid. I can tell by your very cool glasses. I have to do this whole thing with the bowling pins too. How many hearts does an octopus have? That's me. Finger flip. Correct. Hmm. That's half right. Since Stinger Flint is close to an octopus, he's a jellyfish. But I'll allow it. Since you're a cool kid. I'm a cool Normal kid. Octopuses have three hearts. We humans have one. And Stinger Flint has one. I'm I don't actually, care. Please. We have five senses. Sight, smell, taste, touch, and... Ah! Correct. Screams. Oh, you just made me use my fifth sense. <laughs> Close enough. I'll allow it. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for science for today. Yay. Go on to your second break, and then we'll start the next lesson when it's over. Okay. Bye bye. So loud. You want to join us, punk? Give me some lunch money. I guess because we're the jerks, huh? So you just take the lunch money? I don't, I don't get it. I, I don't understand. Yeah, I know I'm supposed to go back. Please let me in. Attention everyone. This announcement concludes your second break. Please return to your classes. I'm trying, but you won't let me! Thank you. Oh, wow. Three new kids in one day? You you know it. One you look like a bowling pin. Kid. Yuck. One cool kid and one mean kid. Welcome. Sit on the table to your left where you belong so we can begin. Where I belong? What are you talking about? Pain giver. Okay, kids, mean kid. Mean kid. Unkind money kindness. taker. Just All right. like we did for math and science, it will only be a review lesson. Let's figure out what we Let's have to do. start with some common knowledge to freshen your stupid brains. Thanks. Can anyone here give me an example of an unkind person? Is it just a mean kid? Cool fuck. Wrong! <laughs> I didn't choose the unkind. Ah! The unkind money taker. Because it has money taker. <laughs> Come on. Welcome. Sit on the table to your left where you belong so we can begin. Okay, kids. The next lesson is health and kindness. Just like we did for math and science, it will only be a review lesson. Let's start with some common knowledge to break if it's your not, stupid brains. If it's not the unkind money taker, of an unkind person. I'm gonna scream. I will beat you to death. Correct. Okay, thank you. Thank that you. That is a perfect example. Good job. Assuming it wasn't directed at me, of course. It was. It was. Now, this time, can anyone give me an example of a kind person? I hate school. Wrong. <laughs> I 
Why is it yellow now? Yellow eye! Better than pink eye, that's for sure. Don't fart on pillows, people. Let's be reincarnated! <laughs> Come on now. Come on. Come on. Welcome! Sit on the table to your left where you belong so we can begin. Okay, kids. The next lesson is health and kindness. <laughs> Go back to bed, man. For math and science, it will only be a review lesson. Let's start with some common knowledge to freshen your stupid brains. Who are you going stupid? Give me an example of an unkind person. This is the worst teacher I've ever had in my life. Unkind bunny ticker. That's right. You heard it. You heard it. That is a perfect example. Good job. Thanks. Assuming it wasn't directed at me, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, this time, can anyone give me an example of a kind person? I will give you immense pain. Correct! Exactly! Giving others things without expecting anything in return is exactly what kindness is. This class is going to be great! I can feel it! What was that? Wait, what was that? I wonder if it's a new student. Nobody move while I check it out. Escape. Please, please, please hit the button. Please hit the button. Please hit the button. Don't snitch on me. Skipping, and I'll give you some gum. Capture the birds and place them in the nest. What? Hi. Where are you going? Get over here. What is this noise? Is that the lights going out? What's happening? What's happening? Why do the lights keep going out? Stop that! I'm so confused. This is this is such a bizarre transference from from one section to the next. What is this? A key card? Orange key card? Lovely. Can I open this? I shouldn't have opened it! <laughs> Why? Why? Why is that an option? Why did I... How am I... N! No escape from this game! N is for no escape from this game! Come on! <laughs> Please! How long is this game? How long is this? Come here, come here, you stinkers. Come here. Come on, go, 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 come on over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch you. Hmm. So that's how you see him, huh? Can I just, like, distract them all and, like, start pushing them towards the, the, the thingy, you know? You got him. That's cool, I guess. Can y'all go up the ramp? I'd appreciate it. I'd really appreciate it. Oh, I just let him go! Come here, come here, come, come here. Come here.
Why is this? Uh, no. Don't make it. So if you press E again, it just drops them. Well, who who made that mechanic a thing? <laughs> Once you pick them up, you can't put them back down. That should be the rules. Until you get to the bed. Because why? Why would you ever need to put them down? Please tell me. Please. Tell me why. Why? Blam, blam. I'm pressing E. And it's not. It's not working. Come here. I'm. Oh my gosh, don't put him down. <sighs> Move. <laughs> Stupid Barnes, get out of here. I almost missed, and he almost got away. That would have been a, a, an absolute disaster. Blame, blame, blame. Blame, blame. Please. Please. How many are there? There's too many. There's too many. That, that's how many there are. I know, it's like a haha, look at this cute moment. What's wrong with your foot? All the pillow birds. Everybody loved it from the first game, so we had to throw in minis. I, you think they have these as plushies already? I don't know. Who knows? I swear, if I open the door after collecting all of them, is the blue one gone? Thank goodness, thank goodness, thank goodness. There's apparently one more. If I collect, if I collect all of them and I open the door and the big bird still kills me. I, I don't think any of you know how unbelievably upset I'm going to be. I see you. I'm going to grab you, okay? I'm going to grab you. I'm going to grab you. I'm going to grab you. Get, get back here. Yeah, that's right. I got you. I got you. You're the last one. To my knowledge, you're the last one. Better not be another stinking bird out there, other than... See, that's the problem, I just heard another one. If it's like clipped into the wall, I'm gonna scream, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quit the game and I'm gonna say, hey, that's it, that's the end of this playthrough. Because I think that's it. It's gotta be it, right? No more birds. No more burbs. And like, what do I do here? Do I open the door and run to the children? Is that what I do? Don't actually know. I hit the button and it didn't work. It's just standing there, waiting menacingly. Do I just... Here's your children! Here they are! I think I think I glitched myself because I'm actually stuck back here. What do I do? Because the door wasn't open, I couldn't get in the door! No! If I have to collect all the children again... No! There's seven. Do you see that? There were seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many are there? So you can't outrun it. I just wanted to test that. Just, 
just wanted to test it. Just wanted to see. I just wanted to see. <laughs> just wanted to see. Just, just, just wanted to see. <laughs> just wanted to see. I was just, just curious. Me, myself, and eyeball. One, two, three, four, five. There's six. There's six birds. So I got all six birds last time, but somehow I screwed it all up. Somehow, some way, I screwed it up. If the game wanted me to collect all six and not die, it should have specified how to do so. Because I can't open the store now that I've respawned at least once. I can't just run back in here and... Come here, come here. Come here, you little stinker. Like, what am I, what am I actually supposed to do? They're at the very end of a hallway. The, intuitively, you would think, okay, open the door for Big Bird, you run back here, and then sprint through this door while Big Bird is coming through. It'll be distracted by its own children. Right. That seems like the most sane answer to this question. But if the door isn't even opened, What's that guy running on there? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. What does the game want me to do? What does the game want for me? Stop it. Like another thought is like, wait, do I, do I give the bluebird to the big one? That doesn't make sense, right? It's the odd one out. I don't know. Who knows? You stupid old pillow bird. Gotcha. Capture the birds and place them in the nest. But please tell me what to do. Please tell me what to do after I put you in there. I really appreciate that. Who's screaming? Who's screaming? And, and see, now it tells me, it doesn't tell me what to do now. It just says nothing. And when I pressed E before, it said, capture the bird, put him in the nest, put him on in there. But now, now what do we do? What, we open the door and, and run, we leave? To open door when the lights go out? Uh, I don't don't quite understand. Oh my gosh. It worked. It worked, it worked, it worked. Close the door. Oh my gosh. Find and enter appropriate door before you get cornered? Stop or go. What? Extend your eyes, please. Why do I what am I supposed to do? Don't tell me I have to grab the birds again. I hate this. I hate this. Yes. Hello. 
What is this Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends guy? Absolutely nowhere. Is this where I'm supposed to go? They don't know. If I move, am I dead? Did I die? I died? R stands for are you kidding me? <laughs> you can't move at all. You just can't move. This is C for crap. <laughs> What a load of crap! At least this is at least this is faster to lose than capturing all the birds or doing the quiz. <clears throat> Hello. So uh, the only thing you have to do here is just wait till it gets to the doors. It's gonna look at the doors, Hello? and that's when you move it. Move it. And then by the time you get over here, it's gonna, it's gonna stop. And I basically need to run, press that button, and go inside when the door closes before his little slimy eyes get back to its head. That's all I need to do. That's all I need to do. So keep it in the corner of my vision. Sprint. Press the button and get inside. ASAP, ASAP, ASAP. Oh my gosh. It worked. I can still hear it, but it worked. I don't care. I don't care about that. Rules of the cannon game. Cannons must be fired at the lit buttons. Only one cannon can be fired at a time. The timer must not run out. There are three rounds in total. I'm sorry, what? I got a seashell? What? <laughs> okay. Guess I'm collecting seashells. Split it! Split it! How many seashells am I collecting? And what am I collecting them for? Oh my gosh, I can't tell you how, how happy I am that I'm finally done with that whole section there. Really terrible stuff. Oh. Oh, that eight. So that's one. One is in. Is there a seashell? <gasps> Excuse me, in here? Why do I have hiccups all of a sudden? It's a very strange thing to just happen to me. Surely that's eight, right? It's gotta be eight. All right, we put in one. Stinger Flynn likes to collect seashells in his chest. Find him eight. One, two. Three, four, Schweid, Schmix, Schmevin, and Schmein. Very cool. Key card? Oh yeah, let's look at that. It's a key card. All right, I guess I can press the button now. Start the timer. <clears throat> Seems pretty straightforward, but I feel like it's not gonna be as easy as it sounds. So this is round one. Where's my timer? Okay, we got it. Nice. Round two. It's not gonna be any of these four.
Got it. Got it. Okay. And then the third round is going to be the bottom ones as well. Okay. Simple enough. Simple enough. Okay. I'm still confused about the timer. Is that it? Get it? <clears throat> Blast them! Nice. Okay. Alright, one more round. It's gonna include the bottom. Gotta hear to see where they are at. Okay, over here. Blast it, blast it. Give me one. Blast it! Okay. Down here. Blast it! I'm assuming it's back up top. Is this the last one, or is there one more after this? It's gonna be down below. No, it's right here, okay. I'll take it, I'll take it. Cool. That was the best one yet. Best puzzle yet. It wasn't even a puzzle. Slaps, th four. Handshakes, three. Stings, ten. Okay. Why, though? Tell me why. Blue key card. Yay. What did I do? What did I do? Did I do something? I don't know. Someone go come chase me? I'm just gonna go back. Snelly? Snelly? Where's big guy? Where'd big guy go? I miss big boy. That's not what I meant to do. Should I follow the goop? Follow the goop again. He's just gone now. Okay, so real big boy's gone. That's that's fun. So th this really is just such a... Uh, it really is just a, a very much a copy of Poppy Playtime. In, in so many ways. Like, it, it's, it's hard to not explain this. I don't even know which way I'm supposed to go at this point. Haven't I done everything? Oh, that's right, we're back up here. So I never got the red key card. That's where I got captured before. So do I go back in there to get captured again? No. Is there another door that I missed? No. I put my tape in here, I got a tape, remember? That it? Hmm. 
Okay. Maybe I go back in here and get captured. Back down to the medical wing. Absolutely not. Okay. Um. Emergency alarm. Can't press the emergency alarm. Oh, someone ate the cake. Sure, it was Ban Ban. Ban Ban. Mr. Ban Ban. There's no reason why I'd go back there, right? Right? Let me double check. Oh, no, it's all blocked off. Is this, is this where the game's gonna be like, oh, ha, 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 just you wait until Garten of Ban Ban 3. You're gonna be so surprised at what we show you. It's gonna be miraculous. Okay, I came out of the center. So should I go back to the medical sector? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm supposed to go to the outer sector, right? I almost missed that jump. That just feels like it makes sense. Unless... Unless... Now that the snail is gone, could I have tried a different door back inside? I feel like that's the actual solution here. Uh, the, the, oh, it hurts my eyes. Yeah, let's try this. So I just got a blue key card, right? You got the blue one. That's where we just came from. Snail boy's gone blue key card. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This wasn't open to us before. There's exercise, so it's best to save your breath. Wait your turn or everyone falls to their deaths. Dear mommy, I am okay and Claire's okay. Ah, the nice jellyfish saved us from the big bird and the evil red man. We are going to the jellyfish's home. Jellyfish, me and Claire. Oh, great to hear. Great to hear you're all going to your home. Um, is this just a platforming puzzle? Is this, is this take the least amount of skill out of anything we've done so far? But it's technically supposed to be one of the harder puzzles? Can you tell I'm... <laughs> I really want to be done with this game. <laughs> Oh, it's so sad. It's just very sad. The jump in this game is very floaty too, so this is uh, not the best thing for platforming. How do I get up from here? Okay, go that way, apparently. I can make it to the yellow. No problem. Hey, look, another tape. Cool. Don't know what those are for. Don't really care. Uh, honestly, I'd rather play the Poppy Playtime <laughs> than I would this game. I feel so... I, I, like, I, I do. I feel bad for ragging on this game so much. And, like, I, I have nothing personal against the developers. Nothing personal against them. I just don't like their game. <laughs> That's so much? That's so much to say? And the fact that this is, like, a... It's, it's, it's getting so many people to play it. It's like so many people are like, oh my gosh, it's Garten of Bon Bon. It's a little wild. What is that over there? Okay. Lights. Camera. Spooky thing. Almost there. Thanks. Oh, look, it's the cake. The cake is a lie. Oh, how nice. Wow. 
It's each of their doors, okay. Who's coming up the... Who's coming up the elevator? Huh? Who's coming up? Who is it? Bad man! Bad man the bad man! What are you doing here? You know, on a normal day, you'd be standing where I am. Behind the safety of this glass. Like you're in a zoo watching some animals. <laughs> Speaking of zoos, it's almost assembly time. Where all the doors open, so we must keep this brief. Look, uh, I'm sorry I hit you, but you gotta understand. Is he the demon? I needed something from you that I could only the way he looks. Your unconscious, and I was all out of sight. Sure, sure. If you'd seen me, you wouldn't have trusted me. I, I know it. But there was one thing I didn't lie to you about, and that's me knowing why you're here. You're here for your children. I don't have any kids. I too am I'm working towards saving them, if you can believe it. But someone else has them. Someone far stronger than you and me both that resides deep in the abyss. Oh no. You've gotta go. There is an elevator in Opilla Bird's walkway. Take it and, and we'll talk again down there. Sure. Said it was a no pillow birds walkway. Hello. You've been a bad student. Are they? It's so dumb. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> I juked her! I juked mommy! <laughs> oh. Yes? What do you want from me? <laughs> this is so silly! This is so silly! Cannonball, right? Right? <laughs> My goodness. Uh, hungry, hungry. You've been a bad student. It literally does that so that she can catch up. It does that so she can catch up. I'm too fast for you. I don't even remember your name, but I'm just too fast for you. You've been a bad student. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. A 
Okay. Sure. This guy has a little party hat on. Can I not leave? What are you holding there, buddy? What am I supposed to do? Press the button again. What? Am I trapped? Is this the end of the game? Have I acquired double jump? I, I, I don't... Why is that a menu thing? <laughs> How do I leave? Oh, is there's a key card? Of course. Of course there is. Of course, of course, yeah. Of course, it's a key card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this this is definitely the end of this game. Oh, that's the new element. The element that they've been creating for, for these creatures. Yeah, go ahead. Close it on up. Safety first. Safety first. PVC piping. Who's gonna... No matter what you do, not go down there. Turn around. They're down. Not go. What do? No matter. <laughs> Thus comes in Garten of Bon Bon 3. A cool new hat. It's been unlocked. Oh boy. I love a cool new hat. That means I beat the game. Yeah. <clears throat> Thanks for playing. Wish list the sequel here. No. I knew you'd snitch. That was the ending? Where did their merch, <laughs> where did their merch thing go? <laughs> Where's the merch? <laughs> they used to have a merch button. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I, here's the thing. I've played worse horror games. I've played much, much worse horror games. And, uh, all of those horror games, I've been very, traditionally I'm, I'm very, very kind, very understanding. And it's just like, it's hard. It's genuinely hard to like want to really like this game For, first and foremost let me show you something for settings i have to set full screen to mix otherwise you'll hear it in a second this is how the game opens up when i first play it you hear that this is what the game sounds like and it's it, the game loads in at like 720 some weird resolution, so I always have to, and this was the same thing for the first game. Uh, you have to set this, and I have to set full screen to mix, and I have to do all this weird stuff just to make it work. Uh, at the very beginning of the game, the game was very stuttery. I'm not sure if people could see that at all. Uh, we're in an RTX 4090, 3090. Wow, that drastically changes from medium to best. Hey, is it supposed to be darker or not? Uh, 
I don't know. Anyway, um... <laughs> so anyway, I, I, I try to be very positive and give sometimes feedback on games. I, I, give, I give a short summary. If I, if I enjoy a game, I'll be like, yeah, this is good. If, if I don't enjoy a game, I'll be like, hey, you know what? This had some really good potential, and there was things going on in this game that could be improved upon. A lot of times when it's something that's like not necessarily a great game, usually it's someone's first game. It's a project that they made for free. Um, and I still get like general enjoyment out of it. Like I, I honestly can't say like, other than the fact that like I was making jokes and like having fun kind of laughing at this game. Like I, I don't know if I would genuinely enjoy playing this as someone just sitting behind their computer playing it. I don't think I could ever recommend anybody play this game because there's so many other great horror games out there. I was very cautious <laughs> about this when I played the first Garden of Bon Bon. Ban Ban. Apparently it's Ban Ban. Um, and that, that already put so much hesitation for me going into this because it, in the first one you saw that there was an immediate like list of a merch section. There was, frankly, there was very little game involved. Um, and they had a trailer for Garten of Banban 2 immediately after the first game released, which the first game was a 20 minute, like it felt more like a tech demo than anything else, showing off a drone. <laughs> Obviously there was the Apilla Bird, which was a kind of a cool thing, but if anybody's seen John Wolf uh, here on YouTube, his critique on the uh, mascot horror video that he did, uh, I think it was last week or two weeks ago. He, he, he very well puts it that the whole bird section of the game, it's over in like five seconds. And if you're not like staring at the bird and watching its mechanics and how it moves, like the average player is just going to hit a button and run away. And like, you never see that bird ever again. And so that was the biggest thing that the game had to show for itself on the first game, and now here on the second game, I feel like all of these tasks and everything, it, it really feels like this, and, and I, I don't mean to say this in like a negative connotation or negative way in any possible like manner, but it feels like the developers got this huge like wind of popularity from the first game just because of the, the characters and things. And like, they're not prepared to make a five, six dollar game on Steam that's gonna be played by X amount of people. Like, I feel like this should be significantly more polished, and especially to be having sequels in production before the games are done. That That's the worst part about it. Don't say that there's a third game coming out when your second and first game are barely games that <laughs> that frankly don't have a lot of like fun value to them. It, 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 going with the the white band band girl thing, like that whole section was just I felt like I was just grinding against a wall, grinding my head against a wall. You just having to sit through her text or talk and go through all the things and like wonder if you're clicking things right. A couple of them were intuitive, like, oh, how many hearts does an octopus have? Oh, I'll check with the marine lover. But some of the other ones, you're just like, what? And if you get it wrong, you have to do it all over again. And the thing that made the game great, the Opila bird made an appearance like for a half a second. Ban Ban, I, I know it's, it's probably one of the developer's voices, but like, even just try to find somebody online who wants to do something like a voice for free. Like maybe someone has some like project gear or even like a, uh, like a small fee, something like Fiverr, uh, kind of going in and getting a little bit better quality. If you're, if you're charging money for this game, like if a thousand people bought this, that's a, a good chunk of money. If even more people bought this, that's even more money that you can use to spend on things like voice acting. Um, it just does not fit this character's voice and his look we didn't see, I, I mean they intentionally don't show us any of these other creatures really because it's not anything that you are getting in this game it's going to be obviously the third game is when you get something like the little squid octopus thing 
We got to look at the snail, which was... <laughs> it was this, it was red light, green light. Uh, the spider, that was just kind of dumb. Like, the game doesn't really tell you what you're supposed to do a lot of the time. It gives you, like, these, these small little hints as you go along, but it would be much, like... Even just like saying escape to the exit on that spider section rather than, oh, this spider is running on the ceiling. Let me look at it. It just comes and runs and just eats you. Like, what are you supposed to do there? The the distracting of the, the, the eyeball with the swiper. Like, it shows a door there. It makes you think that you're supposed to distract him so you can go to the door. But instead, you're supposed to distract him, stick him with a thing, go back you get a firework and then you put it into the cannon and it shoots him in the eye and then it makes a move and then you go into the door, but that door doesn't do anything relating distracting him. I don't know. It just, this game just kind of dragged. And frankly, this could have been a 30 minute game. This would have been much more satisfactory if this was a 30 minute game. Uh, even the final chase sequence was, was kind of rough. And uh, I, again, I, I, I feel bad for like giving all this negative stuff, but it really is like kind of, I would not recommend people spend money on this game. I spent money on this game and I, <laughs> I'm kind of bummed out that I did. Um, luckily I, I do this for, for work, for YouTube. And um, there's just a general cost to making videos sometimes. And I'm totally okay with that. But like, like, man, it's just, <laughs> this was a rough one. <laughs> I still had fun. I still had fun, so don't feel bad for me. Uh, and I'm sure I'll get some people in the comments being like, oh my gosh, it's so unfair to the developers and to this game. And like, that that's totally fine. If you have a different opinion on this, uh, I, I completely respect that. Um, and if you're upset about my opinions, I understand. But just with my experience with horror games and seeing how this went, like, it just feels like, a ca here's the here's the, the down low, the, the condensed, the cliff notes. It feels like a cash grab. It feels incredibly directed towards children to play this game. And I think that's very evident in like the people that interact with uh, games like this. And even though it's a game that's aimed at children, it should still be fun for adults because this has like very adult themes as a horror game. You can't just make a horror game that's for kids and not have it be enjoyable by adults as well. It just doesn't exist with the themes. Cash Grab, it's a game for children. Uh, I feel like there's no solid direction. And the drone, man, I cannot stand the drone. Get the drone out of the game. It was in one and two, get it out of three. It takes too long. It just makes the whole game drag. Anytime I want it to go somewhere, I'm worried that it's gonna hit a wall. It's gonna hit a pillar. Get it out of here. <laughs> Make this game concise, give it a compelling story, even if it's just a narrative story, something that you hear along the way, or these creatures that are talking. I have no reason or want to go find my kids, as was revealed at the very end of this game. I have no attachment. I don't know these children. I don't know what I am. Am I a weird creature? Am I a human? Who knows? Maybe this will all be revealed to us at the end of Garden of ba Ban Ban. 50th anniversary edition. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I've gone on far too long. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and leave this here. Even though uh, this was a wild ride. Hope you all still enjoyed this video. <laughs> so if you did, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. I would genuinely love to read over all of your thoughts and feelings. What, what do you think about my uh, interaction with this game based on what you saw? Like, what are your thoughts? Like, very curious. Very curious to know what my community thinks about this. If you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification as well. That way you know exactly when I'm uploading any new videos. If you'd like to see any more content from me, welcome to follow me on any of my other socials like my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. We've got a Discord channel and a bunch of other cool things always listed in the description down below. But of course, that all being said, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Later.